Hey guys, I have some really awesome Red Orchestra 2 Rising Storm gameplay for you here. Um, this is a really cool game if you want to get into uh, computer gaming, PC gaming. This is one that's not very hard to run, and it's really fun to play once you get used to it. It's got a little bit of a steep learning curve, but once you pass that, you can mow down guys just like that. Uh... Yeah, so what I wanted to talk about here was this game and my kind of transition from console to PC. You're not going to be seeing many console games coming from me, um, or m very many console videos coming from me anymore because I'm kind of moving away from console and into PC, which I think is a really good decision considering how the newer consoles... And I just messed up there. The newer consoles are not as good as PC, and they're. I don't think that Xbox or Microsoft has their act together because they're still taking stuff back and releasing stuff and taking it back because people don't like what they're doing. And I think that that's a sign of weakness in a company if they're just going off what people want and not. And all their new ideas are bad ones, for the most part. And I also am not a fan of PlayStation, because I really don't like their controller, and I don't like their online... Uh, their online multiplayer. Because with Xbox Live, you're paying for a good experience, a clean experience, with... Uh, they per with protection of your credit card information, all that stuff, all your personal information, but you're not getting all of what you're getting from Xbox Live with the free PlayStation Network. Uh, plus, you don't get to play games like Red Orchestra 2, which are completely awesome. I'm running a graphics card that's about two years old now, and it's kind of a mid-range to entry-level graphics card that doesn't cost $400 to buy. I bought it used from a good friend, I can't believe I and it times. works perfectly fine. I'm able to play this game. Good lighting. This is on high settings for the most part, except for one which is on medium, which doesn't make that much of a difference. The smoke and particle effects are amazing, and it's just more fun to play on PC to me, and I just massacred my own guy because I'm so bored. How, what, what game like this on console do you, do you get to do this stuff? I mean, you don't see it in this, but when you're playing sometimes a grenade will land by your buddy and blow up and cut him in half and blood flying everywhere. It's crazy, it's like, here's a war type stuff, and watch this guy. Bam. <laughs> Isn't that satisfying? Just seeing that, it's cool. I, I've never seen that type of deal on uh, consoles. Also, consoles kind of restrict, uh, they restrict the games that you can play because, say, Microsoft... Or Xbox only wants this game developer to develop a game on Xbox or PlayStation or whatever you're playing on. And they only want that company because they know that company's good and they need to make money to keep printing copies of the game with, for say, um... Red Orchestra 2, they need to print copies of the game, but most of their sales happen on Steam, which is awesome because you can make a game and you can put it out on Steam, and it costs you nothing to print anything, and people buy it, so you get money for making that game, and they'll rate it, and it'll have the meta score all on there, so everybody will know, is this a good game, or is this not a good game? And... Maybe if you make good enough games for the PC, then maybe you can do something on console. 
I don't know, it's up to Microsoft or Sony, but that's one of the things that happened with uh, Payday, because Payday was an amazing game, it's super fun to play, I'm still not bored of it, it costs like $25, $20 to buy, and it's really fun and really original. The games on PC that come out that I have seen are really original compared to the console games. I mean, when do you get to rob a hospital and steal a patient's blood in, in Call of Duty? I haven't seen it. And the graphics here are way better than... I just got massacred, but they're way better than Xbox. They're... Pass the Xbox One graphics on PC on some games, but I'm, I really don't want to do this, but I'll talk about Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is going to look way better on the PC than whatever next-gen console you're getting, but I'll leave it at that. Lost the match. Boo-hoo. See you later.